Dang it! Freaking can't catch freaking Charmander again. Crap. Well, anyway, I'm playing uh Pokemon right now on here. So anyway, I just thought I'd figure I'd show you guys how to install the Game Boy Advance emulator on here. This will work on any iPhone firmware as long as it's jailbroken. If it's jailbroken or pawn, then you're good. Because this is what you basically have to do. You have to go to your installer application. For me, it's Cydia since I'm on 2.0. Then you just click that. And when you're in, for, when you're in Cydia, the key is from here is to just go wait, wait till this all this refreshes and everything. It's going to be a little different if you're on installer, but essentially the same thing. Go to your programs tab down there. Then you're basically just going to go down to games and then find GPSP. Once it decides to load, uh, we'll ignore that just for now. Let's find that up right there. GPS phone. And we're just going to install it real quick. Then we'll confirm it. Doesn't take long to download, luckily. Alright. Then we're going to just return. Go back to the main menu. After that. You can't tell, it's still kind of buggy, but eh, it does the job. The one for lower firmware is, is pretty good, though. Anyway, but what is there to the GPS phone if you don't have any ROMs? So basically, now for ROMs, we're just gonna have to do this. You have to set, you have to make sure you have SSH installed on here, and you have an SSH client on your computer. Then you're gonna wirelessly add ROMs to this. So, basically what you're going to do first, step number one, is open up your SSH client on your PC. So we're going to go ahead and start that up real quick. Let's turn on a little screen recorder so you can see what you're doing. Alright. Okay. So that's what we're going to do. Okay. So first things first, we're going to set this up. We're going to open up our applications. I'm on OS 10 right now. I've, I'll give you guys all the different options online. And we're going to I'm going to open up a program. I'll show you what it's called. It's called our browser for me, that's what I'm using. Alright, I'm just going to double click that and let it open up. I'm going to click FTP only, then you're going to get a bunch of options here. You have to find out what your host URL is. So this is what we're basically going to do. This is what we're doing for... When we have to get that, you have to basically go here. You have to go to settings. Alright. And when you're in settings, you're going to go to Wi-Fi, and my Wi-Fi, you have to pick the ones con that you're connected to, and click the little blue arrow right there. And then you're going to get your list of options on there. And one is your uh, IP address, and that's your host address for your PC. So we're going to go ahead and enter that in. Alright? So yeah, let's do that. Um, so here, here is um, the login panel right here if you're looking at it there, this is our little login panel right there so we're gonna type in the host URL which is the IP address of the phone that we just found alright then our username will be uh, the word root and the password will be alpine so then we're just gonna go ahead and click connect and just give your thing some time to connect to it. it shouldn't take too long. Alright. And then from here, we're going to basically just go to our 
root, I believe. Uh, all right. Mobile. Then we're going to go to media. Then we're going to go to ROMs down there. And then we're going to go to GBA. And then this is where you're going to add in all your ROMs. And then when you drag and drop them, they'll be there on your phone after. So that's all we're going to have to do. Then you can go ahead and close out, disconnect when it's finished. And then, then you should be good. And everything should be on here ready to be played. So go ahead and enjoy your thing. And if you have any additional questions, remember we're broadcasting live 24-7 at live.gogeeks.com which is pretty nice. So you should go ahead and check it out. Join up our community. Even when I'm not there, even when I'm not there, chat room's always running to help you. But if no one answers you, I'll definitely be there. So just leave a message.